guys with with the Browns this week? I know they've got a, a really good running game, but you also have a little bit familiar with Jacoby Brissett. What, what do you see out of that offense? It's an electric offense. They got plenty of tools. Uh, very dynamic. Uh, it's a big week for us, especially for our defense. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Jacoby's a good guy, and I'm uh, look forward to seeing him seeing him out there playing against him. So, yeah. You guys excited to get home after the way you've been able to stack a couple wins here on the road and just kind of be back in that atmosphere again since you guys really forgot that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I love. Uh, I love. Huh. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> nah, yeah, I love playing at home. It's awesome. And uh, we've been away, like you said, but I'm glad to be back and finally, you know, back in the mix of Miami. So, sure. You know, we were talking to Josh Moore today. He said the one thing he wants to really hone in the second half of the season is getting off the ball and getting off the field on third down. What's, what's the key to that? What's maybe not going to be the key to that? Uh, you know, just playing technique, honestly, just doing what the coaches say and uh, going out there and execute. I mean, there's nothing with that, too. There's no secret sauce or anything like that. You just got to, you know, play the down for what it is and execute. I was wondering, and like, within like the practice, so how do you as guys, as defensive players, as a captain, kind of look at the defense? Because on paper, you might not be, you know, top of the league in a lot of stats, but when the games matter, you guys are making stops. Yeah, I mean, it was just a, you know, one play at a time organization, and you just got to tag it for what it is, and uh, that's really how we see it, man, on both sides of the ball. Um, next play, kind of thing. You mess up, you mess up, you kind of got to keep on going. So, um, yeah, but that's how you just, you know, Game gets tough, you know what I'm saying? Taking some punches, whatnot, and get you in the first half. It is what it is. But as long as you finish the game with one more point than the other team, then you win the game. So that's what really matters. I have Sir. to ask because I saw you dancing out there. We've seen a lot of guys. Are you the best dancer on this team? Uh, I would probably say yes, absolutely, 100%. But I mean, it's up for debate. But if you ask me, then I'm definitely the best dancer on the team for sure. Yeah. With the game so many. Sorry, just last week you were uh, ranking all of the uh, on an interview with us, ranking the best celebrations. What's your assessment of Tyreek's backflip? I didn't see it in, in person, uh, but I mean, I had to give it number one just because of all the memes that they've been posting. Those have been pretty funny. So uh, I think it's up there for sure. I want to ask you about being in close games. What do you think is the biggest key to, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the game, closing those games out? Um, honestly, having a peaceful mind. Um, you know, sometimes you can let emotions get the best of you. You know, it's a big game, and you kind of get beside yourself, uh, or even just the moment itself. It can get too big. But really just kind of staying you know, within your keys, understanding that it's just another down, regardless of if it's, you know, the game to win the Super Bowl or if it's the game to just, you know, just win one game in the regular season. Like, you know, it's, you just got to play it for what it is and, and go out there and execute. Do you think that that's the, what separates good and great teams in this league is being able to close out and finish uh, and come on top of those tight games? Uh, yeah, I mean, being able to, what well, separates good and great teams is being able to dominate uh, game in and game out um, and cause turnovers and whatnot and uh, just completely just nullify an offense both you know, mentally and physically. Um, but I think that is definitely a part of it, being able to finish and being able to secure those games uh, when, it is, when it does fall on the defense.